welcome to our talk, Speed Egress and Exit. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at securing traffic coming out of a service mesh using Istio. I'm Ariana. And I'm Nina. And uh, before we get started, uh, we want to motivate why you should care about egress gateways. So egress gateways uh, unify the behavior of traffic leaving your cluster, and that provides a centralized point uh, for monitoring, controlling, and shaping the outbound traffic. Um, so that's important for a lot of cool stuff like accessing external databases, external APIs, and other external services. Um, so we're going to specifically look at how you configure traffic leaving the Istio service mesh um, in a couple different ways and look at the configuration in each scenario. Um, if you saw Lynn's keynote this morning, uh, you kind of saw the beauty of Istio where you don't actually have to change the underlying application. Um, you're just going to change the Istio networking policy and get different behavior in terms of the routing and the encryption. So Cool. So the setup that we're going to start with is a simple kind cluster. We've installed Istio with this um, Istio egress gateway service. And we've also added a curl pod that has an Istio sidecar. Um, and we're going to be sending requests from that curl pod. OK, so the first thing we're going to show is what happens if I set up nothing. OK, so in this case, it doesn't recognize the httpbin.org um, host name. And so we get a 502 bag gateway. And so in order to send a request from the um, curl pod, and through its sidecar to httpband.org, we're going to have to apply this service entry, which will tell it to use uh, DNS resolution. OK, let's send it again. Yeah, so same request as before, but we get a response back. And we're using httpbin because of the nifty uh, headers endpoint. So uh, we get some headers back, uh, including some telemetry headers that Istio uses. And one of those headers is the peer metadata ID. So we can see where the request is coming from in this case. So like we are going from the sidecar and reaching httpbin.org. Cool. Uh, so now we're going to send our request through the egress gateway so that we get some of the monitoring and controlling um, that Nina was talking about. In order to do that, we'll uh, have to add an Istio gateway resource. Yeah, so the Istio gateway resource is an Istio-specific uh, CR. And uh, it configures uh, how our egress gateway is going to accept traffic on specific hosts, on specific ports, and using specific TLS configuration. Cool. And we're also going to add a virtual service, which will handle routing for httpbn.org, so that requests from the mesh will go to the egress gateway. And then requests coming out of that egress gateway will go to httpbn.org. So let's apply that config and send another request. So same request as before, but uh, you'll notice that the peer metadata ID has changed. So now we are going through the egress gateway, not the sidecar as before. Cool. Um, all right, so now we're going to add TLS origination at the egress gateway so that our requests to httpbin.org are secure. Um, to do that, we'll make a small update to the virtual service to change the, uh, the port that we're going to on httpbin.org. And we're going to add a destination role. This configures um, Istio so that requests coming from the mesh to this destination will initiate a simple TLS request. Okie dokie. Cool. So same request as before. Um, we can notice that the pure metadata ID hasn't changed, so we're still going through the egress gateway. But the decorator operation has changed. So before, we were using port 80, but now we're using port 443. So that means we are initializing TLS at the egress gateway and hitting uh, hvbin.org on that port. Cool. OK, now we're going to show one final config. In addition to the TLS origination at the egress gateway, we're also going to make sure that the requests within the mesh uh, between the sidecar and the egress gateway are using MTLS. Um, so to do that, we'll have to update the Istio gateway resource to specify Istio Mutual, which is um, Istio's way of handling certs for us and, and enforcing MTLS. And then we'll also add a destination rule so that requests to the egress gateway destination um, will be initiated with MTLS. And lastly, we'll just update the virtual service to use the HTTPS port on the egress gateway service. Yep, so. And some more request. Yeah, same request as before. Um, so now we can look at the uh, decoration operation uh, header hasn't changed. So still hvbin.org on port 43, as in the previous example. Um, the, meta, the pure metadata ID hasn't changed, so still going through the egress gateway. But we have this new X forwarded client cert. So this is a, a header that Istio uses uh, to indicate the cert information uh, that a uh, request flows through. And um, in this case, the by section has the spiffy ID for the egress gateway. At the very end, past all the, the cert junk, um, is the service account for our curl pod. So our curl pod is running in the default namespace using the default service account. So uh, this confirms that we are going from the sidecar to the egress gateway with MTLS. Cool. So that's all the scenarios that we have time to show today. Um, but there's a couple other scenarios in the document if you want to take a look at this, um, this repo on GitHub. Um, and I'll yeah. give people a moment to. <laughs> Get there. Uh, cool. And if you want to come talk to us about other configs or anything else, then uh, come find us at the Solo Booth G6. Thanks.